And we're back with a new tutorial swap can be shown in this one then, as uh, how to make another mansion. So you guys seem to really like the last mansion I made, uh, so I want to make another one as soon as possible. Uh, for this one, same as last one, I'm only going to be showing you how to build the exterior, uh, just because of the huge scale of the build. But to start off with then, what you want to do, I uh, just want to clear out a space which is 59 by 53, uh, so you can actually fit the build in. And what we can do to start off this build then, we're just going to start off our doorway to start with. And for this, you just want to place two smooth sandstone blocks, then leaving a four block space, which will add another two. Now that we've done that, what we can do for the outside block on either side, just end them both up and have 13 more blocks. Uh, so they should be both 14 blocks in height in total. And once you've done that for the inside row on either side, just to extend these both up another six. So in this space then, what we're going to be adding, as I mentioned before, uh, is going to be our doorway. So what we can do to start this off at the bottom here, on the outside block, I uh, just want to add a sandstone stair, and just a slab on top of each. Then what you want to do is count the fifth block up, and again on the outside block on either side inside this space. What we can do is place it upside down, sandstone stair, uh, facing inwards this time. And then once you've done that on top of each, I'd just add a smooth sandstone block. Once you've done that between the last two blocks of smooth sandstone we just placed, uh, what you want to do between them is just add your upside down sandstone stairs. Then after this on top of this row, what we can do is extend across our smooth sandstone, I'd uh, fill in this space. So now that we've done that then, what we're going to add above this can be a window on top. Uh, so what we're going to do to start this off then, in the bottom corner on either side, I just add a smooth sandstone block, and then on top of each just a sandstone stair. Then after this you come in one block from the top, and again for the outside block on either side, what we're going to do this time is place an upside down sandstone stair, uh, but facing outwards. And after this for the top row here, what we can do is extend across our smooth sandstone, uh, it's connected up. Now that we've done that, then what we're going to go ahead and do, uh, as Mark Carroll our window is going to go on the left. So this design is pretty much going to be the same design, uh, it's going to be using the rest of the building, uh, but what we are going to do to start off then, on the left just leaving a one block space where we're just going to place our floor plan. And for this, we're just going to add one block of smooth sandstone, then just leaving another block space, we're just going to add one more. And after that, just another block space, we're just going to add three to finish it off. Then what you want to do is go ahead and extend all these bottom blocks up, so it's the same height as the rest of our sandstone. So once you've done that in each of these three spaces, we're just going to go ahead and add our windows. Now for each of them then, they're going to be exactly the same design as each other. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do across the bottom here, we should add our oak wood planks, and then on top of each, you want to place it at a free height with your black stained glass panes. And on top of this, we're just going to add our oak wood stairs with a row of oak wood planks on top of that. And they go, oh, that's that bit done. So what we can go ahead and do now is add another window on top. Ah, uh, but first what you want to do is add a smooth sandstone block on top of our windows at the bottom here. Now just add our oak wood planks on the next row up, and on top of it just free hive your black stained glass panes. Then on top of this, we're just going to add our stairs, 
then our oak wood planks on top of this and just one more row of smooth sandstone on top to finish it off. And there you go, that's these windows added on the left. Now what we can do is mirror what we've done this side on the opposite side. Uh, so we're just going to start off by placing our floor plan and it is going to be exactly the same but mirrored on the opposite side. So what you want to do, leaving a one block space every time, just place a two one blocks, followed by a three block space with your smooth sandstone after that. Now what we can do for all of these, just go ahead and extend them all up to the same height as the sandstone on the left here. Now that we've done that then what we can go ahead and do in these three spaces, just add our windows. So at the bottom of all of them, same as before, I just add your oak wood planks and then on top of each just free hive your black stained glass panes. And on top of our black stained glass panes, stand your oak wood stairs with your oak wood blocks on top. And there you go, that's these bottom windows added. So we're going to add another row of windows on top. But first, you just want to add your smooth sandstone on top of these rows. For the window above them, we're just going to copy what we've done underneath. Or actually the two windows on the left here. Uh, we're just going to start by placing our oak wood planks across the bottom. And again, it's going to be exactly the same. So just our three black stained glass panes on top. Followed by stairs, oak wood planks and just our smooth sandstone on top to finish it off. So what we're going to do in front of our doorway now is add some pillars and what we're going to do for this place the bottom block for all of them. Uh, so on either side of our doorway at the bottom here, so on the outside of the bottom sandstone stair here, I uh, was going to add one smooth sandstone block, then four blocks away in front of it. I uh, just want to add another again on either side. After this then what you want to do for all of these four is just extend them all up to so the same height as the rest of the smooth sandstone. After this in front of the bottom block of our two sandstone pillars at the back here, I just add the sandstone stair on either side. Then after this for the two front pillars, what we can do around all of the bottom block is just add our sandstone stairs all the way around. And there you go, that's that bit done. So what we can do now is count to the sixth block up we on the 6th block on the outside block on either side, uh, what you want to do is add your sandstone stairs uh, facing forwards. Then what we're going to do on either side and again on the 6th block up, uh, between the front and back pillars this time uh, we're going to add an upside down sandstone stair on either side. And once you've done that on top of these front two upside down sandstone stairs, I wish can extend a row of sandstone stairs across, but just making sure they're the right way up. Now that we've done that, we can do the same for both the sides. So once you've done this then on all of the stairs you've just added, 
So this includes the front and the sides as well. Uh, we're just going to have slabs on top of all of them. Now that we've done that, then at the same level as where our stairs are at, what we can do is fill in this space here, again filling in the back row as well where our sandstone walls at, uh, with our smooth sandstone. And there you go, that's that bit done. So what we can do now is leave half block space above our slabs around the front and sides here, where we're just going to add wooden slabs on top. Then what you want to do is come to the second block from the top here. Uh, we're on the outside block on either side, you want to have your stairs facing inwards. And for the remaining two blocks, I just want to have them facing outwards. And now that we've done that, then we're just going to go ahead and repeat what we've done here for the sides. So once you've done this then, to finish up this bit on top of the top row here, we're just going to add a row of smooth sandstone on top. And there you go, Ooh, that's that bit done. So what we're going to do now to finish off this part is add another section of wall. So what you want to do is come down to the bottom right hand block here and diagonal at the front here. We're going to extend out two blocks and you just want to extend up your smooth sandstone so it's the same height as the rest of it. So diagonal at the front here, we're just going to go ahead and add our last section of wall in. Uh, so it's going to be a slightly different floor plan to the rest, but the window is going to be exactly the same design. So diagonal at the bottom here, I just add two smooth sandstone blocks. Then just leaving a one block space, we should add one more. I'm just going to do this two more times. Then just want to add another two smooth sandstone blocks after that. Now just go ahead and extend all of these up so it's the same height as the rest of our sandstone. So in these three spaces that we left for our windows then, it's going to be exactly the same design as what we've done previously. So across the bottom block here, just down your oak wood planks, then free hive your black stained glass panes on top, and on top of these which can add our stairs, followed by our planks again. That's the first lot of windows out at the bottom, and now just a row of smooth sandstone on top, and we're just going to place our next windows after that. And there you go, that's that bit done. So what we can go ahead and do now is add one more section of wall uh, to finish off this part. So diagonal at the back here, the outside row, we can add three smooth sandstone blocks. Then just leaving a one block space every time, we can add one block, then another block after that. And finally, uh, just three more smooth sandstone blocks to finish it off. Now just go ahead and extend all of these up so it's the same height as the rest of our sandstone. So 
So as you might have guessed in these three spaces, what can be ends are windows. So just down the window at the bottom here, then a row of smooth sandstone on top of that, followed by one more window with another row on top. So again, it's exactly the same design as what we've done so far for this video. So I'm just going to go ahead now and add them in. That's this bottom window done, and now just down a row of smooth sandstone on top, followed by another window with another row on top of that. And they go, oh, that's that bit done. And that is actually the last thing we're going to be doing to finish off this part. So what we are going to be doing in the next part then is carrying over exterior. Uh, but again, if you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you have actually built it, make sure to send me on Twitter because I love seeing your progress. Uh, especially when you send me it throughout the parts. It's pretty cool to see uh, that you're building along. But again, I hope you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next part.